Welcome back, everybody. I'm your host, Kelly Sparks, aka Redbeard. So, anyway, today I have for you a donation. Well, they just let me borrow it. They, Terry, uh, who is our producer, who is the lovely wife of Mr. Curtis Harmon, who is my compatriot uh, on the Bearded Idiots podcast, she purchased this one and she also purchased the Willard. I believe, I believe she got both of them. So, she purchased this one, so she left it here for me to do a tasting, and thank you, Terry. What are you doing? So anyway, this is from Broken Barrel Whiskey. It is a limited edition release, bottled at 55%. It is called the Cask of Amontillado. Armadillo. The Cask of Armadillo. Amontillado. Uh, a collection of American whiskeys finished with a Montalado cask staves. It is artisanal alchemy. Uh, there's a lot of stuff on this bottle. Uh, it says made with vengeance and malice. So that's harsh. Uh, it's 12 year old whiskey aged. Uh, oh, I might have to get reading glasses. Aged something and five year old. And five year old. Hope. Kentucky corn whiskey. So it doesn't tell us what the 12 year old whiskey is. Not really sure. Distilled in Indiana. So come here. Come here. Probably an MGP product, uh, which I don't necessarily think that MGP is a bad producer of whiskey. Um, but they need to uh, make the wording on their bottles a little bit bigger. What is it, Bonnie? Huh? So it's 12 year old whiskey. Let me see if I can figure out that word. Uh, what is it, Bonnie? Mm, verified? Amplified? Fortified? Maybe fortified? Fortified, yeah. Fortified with five year old Kentucky corn whiskey. So the 12 year old whiskey that just says whiskey concerns me. I would like to know what type of whiskey, if it's American whiskey, if it's bourbon, if it's rye, if it's Canadian. Well, it's made in MGP, so it's not Canadian. But I would like to know that. Uh, so anyway, it's very dark, very, very dark. It's almost like a Balconis blue corn bourbon dark. It's incredibly dark in the glass. You can see it. So anyway, it's like light coffee. So the nose, kind of, it's just kind of alcohol forward on the nose. And there's a, there's some light like perfume style notes to it. Other than that, there's really not much going on on the nose. I mean. I like the idea of what they're trying to do. You're taking other whiskeys and finishing it in special ways to get a special outcome. I am totally for that. All right, let's see how they did on the taste. Very sweet, and that's really all I can describe it as. Sweet and hot on the palate. It's just sweet and hot. The, the, the sweetness is like, will you come here? Come here, come here. She's probably got to poop. I just fed her, just got home from work, fed her. Now she's probably got to poop. Come here, come here. Let me distract you while I talk to the people. So it's just super sweet and very hot on the palate. It's not even really like spicy. It's just alcohol hot. It taste, it really doesn't taste that bad. We did review this one on the podcast and we had all pretty much straight off the neck and I didn't really care for it much then. It feels like it's probably opened up a little bit, but I'm not really sure what direction they were trying to go because it there's really, really not much going on on the palate. It's just sweet and hot. All right, let me give them one more taste and we'll see if uh, something will jump out at me. All right. 
it really just reminds me of uh, what was the everybody in America knows this the little bitty the Smarties yeah they're a little bitty capsule size like a not a capsule but a like a Tylenol sized candy come in a little package like this and there was like 20 of them off in there and they weren't they weren't really flavored they were just sweet and you just break your teeth eating them that's kind of what it reminds me of it's just sweet not a whole lot of flavors I might have got a little bit of vanilla and that would have probably been probably bit probably probably would have been comparable to like vanilla extract how sweet it is how sweet it is to be loved by you anyway uh, I digress it just it's just sweet and hot there's not much else going on I think they have a great idea and I look forward to their other releases they do have two other releases on the shelf that I'd really like to try one of them is a, a finished with peated casks um, and there's another one that a page I follow on Instagram posted and I think it's it's a blue label I can't remember what it is but it doesn't taste bad not really a whole heck of a lot going on I think the price is around 50 55 bucks but it is 110 proof so it'll get you where you're going <laughs> it'll get you where you're going but if you're wanting something that's got more nuances and flavor this isn't it no I mean I just it's just it's okay yeah and I was from the from the review on the podcast I don't you claw me you son of a bitch you're female of a bitch um, I was expecting to come in here and just straight shit on it and it's not bad it really isn't but it's also not great and I would put it like maybe one notch below good <laughs> uh, it's me it it's overpriced personally uh, you'd be better off going buy an old granddad 114 you can buy two bottles of that for the price of this one and you get a lot more flavor I think that's all I got it's just sweet and hot and probably overpriced mm. sorry broken barrel I look forward to your new releases whenever they come out hopefully you got enough people who like it so y'all can keep experimenting because I'm totally down with that I think you've got a good path to follow but I think you should pick better whiskey next time I'm not saying NGP has bad whiskey because I know the Remus repeal whatever Remus reserve I hear good things about that I hear good things about the Sam Houston 14 from other channels Calumet 14 I think so those are both actually those are both available here locally but they're also a hundred something dollars a bottle and yeah I don't know if I want to spend it anyway don't forget to check the description below for all the links to help out with the bills around the house if you want to donate if you want to donate just like 50 bucks for a bottle to help out with a review uh, I've got links to my PayPal you can send me a little gift there um, check out patreon if you want to just donate just a little bit a month that'd be awesome don't forget to check out the bearded, bearded idiots like and subscribe share did i say that already anyway like always drink some whiskey share it with your friends and family like terry and the Harmons did don't drink and drive be safe take care and we'll see you next time cheers